children today we will learn about the mensuration of the things or objects or shapes okay what do we mean by mensuration the measurement of the area and volume of the shapes or objects is called mensuration okay from our surroundings we have two types of shapes okay they are plain shapes and solid shapes okay the there are three basic dimensions okay length breadth and height height is also called width okay so there are three basic dimensions they are length breadth and height okay the shapes which have only two dimensions are called 2d shapes 2d shapes are also called plane shapes okay example triangle quadrilateral pentagon hexagon and circle these are plane shapes also and 2d shapes means two dimensional shapes also okay because they will not have all the three basic dimensions okay out of three they will have only two dimensions they will have length breadth or breadth height or height length that's why these are called 2d shapes or plane shapes okay and there are shapes like cube cuboid cylinder pyramids prisms okay and uh, this is triangle based pyramid square based pyramid cone and sphere okay these are all solid shapes or 3d shapes the name 3d shapes is because these have all the three dimensions okay they have length also breadth also and height also that is why these are called solid shapes and these are also called the 3d shapes okay about these things let us study in detail okay look at the board children here first let us go to the plane shapes which are 2d shapes okay see here you might have heard the examples like triangle okay the quadrilateral the pentagon okay and the hexagon and circle these are all example for the plane shapes okay and these have only area these shapes do not have volume right whereas the solid shapes like cube okay cuboid and uh, cylinder okay the triangle based pyramid and the square based pyramid and cone sphere these have uh, area also and the volume also okay let us understand what are polygons okay all plane shapes are not polygons but all polygons are plane shapes see your children uh, poly means many gons means the sides okay any closed plane figure with three or more than three sides is called a polygon okay here triangle is a closed plane figure with three sides that is why triangle is the first polygon okay and it is a plane shape here the next shape is quadrilateral quadra means four lateral means side okay any closed plane figure with four sides is called quadrilateral here the name of this quadrilateral is give g i v e give which has the four sides okay and similarly this is called a pentagon which is also a polygon because it has three or more than three sides okay its name is pqrst huh? since it has five sides and closed plane figure it is called pentagon and similarly it is also a polygon with six sides which is plane figure and closed figure right so when the number of the sides uh, are 6 we call it as hexagon if 
any closed plane figure with seven side is called heptagon with eight sides is called octagon with nine sides is called nonagon and with 10 sides is called decagon okay when the number of sides go on increasing the polygon tends to be round shape or a circle so circle is also a closed plane figure with how many sides with n number of sides therefore i can call this as circle also and this as n gone means i do not know how many sides this circle has okay we know that circle is the collection of points which are at an equal distance from the fixed point called center okay so if there are n number of points and each point is considered to be side then it becomes an n gone okay so children circle is also a polygon with n number of sides and we can name it as n gone right so all these plane shapes will have what the uh, area okay these plane shapes called polygons do not have volume these have only area is it clear look at the solid shapes this has three dimensions it has length breadth and height therefore it is 3d shape here each face is a square shape face and it has six shapes or six faces such figure is called cube okay cube is a six faced figure in which all the faces are square shape and length breadth and height all are equal to each other okay next comes cuboid cuboid is also a six faced figure in which length and breadth and height all the three dimensions are present that is why it is 3d shape but here uh, the length and breadth height they are not equal to each other that is why the faces are not square shape the faces are rectangle shape such figure is called cuboid okay so children uh, next we come to a cylinder okay cylinder is a curved shape object right and it is also a 3d figure here top and bottom are circular shape whereas its uh, uh, lateral surface is curved that's why it has one curved surface okay this is height of the cylinder and this is top radius and the bottom radius of the cylinder right and it is a 3d shape now i come to pyramid right pyramid has a polygon shape base and its lateral surfaces are triangle shape okay it is also a 3d shape this is square based pyramid whereas in a square based pyramid the base is square all the four sides are equal here and its lateral surfaces are triangle shape okay therefore it is called a uh, square based pyramid right and here this line is you know uh, is called um, slant height of the pyramid that i have not drawn here this is the slant height see here this is pyramid huh? and this uh, dotted line shown here is the slant height of the pyramid this is square shape base and uh, its lateral surfaces are triangle shape such figure is called a pyramid and uh, it's uh, um, it is 3d shape okay next comes cone right cone has one circular bottom and its uh, lateral surface is curved that's why it has curved shape and we can call it as a curved object okay here r is the bottom radius and this h is the perpendicular height and this l is the slant height okay thus a cone will have slant height a perpendicular height and bottom radius okay here l h and r all the three form a right angled triangle okay now uh, one more curved shape object we will come across is spear okay the examples for spear are uh, the planets the sun the cricket ball volleyball okay these are all example for the spears 
स्पीयर इज ऑल्सो ए थ्री डी शेप ऑब्जेक्ट विथ द सेंटर एंड ए रेडियस ओके ऑफकोर्स इट विल हैव डायमीटर ऑल्सो एंड इट इज द ऑब्जेक्ट विच हैज ओनली वन फेस दैट इज कर्ड फेस ओके ओके लुक एट दिस ऑब्जेक्ट दिस इज एन एग्जाम्पल फॉर क्यू हियर यू सी बॉटम इज स्क्वेर शेप ओके सॉरी टॉप इज स्क्वेर बॉटम इज स्क्वेर शेप एंड ऑल द लैटरल सर्फेस इज वन टू थ्री फोर दीज आर ऑल इन स्क्वेर शेप ओनली दैट इज वाइट इज अ क्यूब एंड हियर द लेंथ द ब्रेड एंड इट्स हाइट ऑल आर इक्वल टू इच अदर ओके नाउ I come to this object. When you look at it, also has six faces: one, two, okay, three, four, five, and six. Six faces it has. But here, uh, all the faces are not square shape; they are rectangle shape. Huh? And this is length of the object, and this is breadth of the object, and this is height or width of the object. But here, length, breadth, height. All are not equal to each other, okay? But these have this has three dimensions: length, breadth, and height. That's why it is 3D object, and it is example for cuboid. Now, see here. This is also an example for cuboid only, right? Now, see here. Uh, it has six faces, okay? Bottom face, top face, bottom and top are. What square shapes? See here, right? Whereas the lateral faces are rectangle shapes. Okay, such figures are called prisms. Okay, prisms have bottom and shape in regular polygon shapes. Okay, whereas the lateral faces are rectangle shape. Such an object is called three D shape also, and we will also call it as um, okay. Uh, prism, right? Okay. Look at this. This also has bottom and top. It has, you know, eight sides at the bottom. Therefore, it is octagon. And top is also octagon. And we have eight rectangle shape um, lateral faces. And such thing is called three D shape also. And it is an example for prism, right? Okay. Similarly, when the number of the sides go on increasing on the bottom, the bottom tends to be circle, and top also tend to be circle, and last it becomes a cylinder. Okay. See, it? cylinder is also three D shape with bottom circle shape, top circle shape, and its lateral surface is curved surface. Okay. Such an object is called curved object. Okay, or three D object, right? And this is an example for what the cone. Okay, what is cone? Cone has a circle shape bottom, and it has no top, but its uh, lateral surface is curved. We call it as curved surface, and all together, okay, and we call it as a cone. It is two D shape object. So, children, this year. we need to find the area and volume of the plane shapes also and the solid shapes also okay but uh, the cone and uh, okay the cone the cylinder and the sphere these are all curved shape object but the other objects they don't have curved shapes they have polygon shapes